basically heard what was like a disembodied voice basically right in front of us. And when we went and checked back the recorder and stuff, it wasn't on there, but our cameras caught an actual voice saying like, What's up guys, it's Sam and Colby. In honor of our new Hell Week merch, we're gonna answer you guys' questions. What's up you guys, it's Nilu from FanJoy. Today I'm here with Sam and Colby and we are gonna be answering the questions you guys sent in, so let's get into it. I'm scared. Petrified, to say the least. You guys ready for the first one? No. Let's do it. Oh. Okay, <laughs> describe each other. <laughs> And what you guys were like in high school. So Sam, Whoa. you describe what Colby was like. Colby in high school? Yeah. Oh my God. What's that supposed to mean, man? You've changed. I've a changed. Lot. <laughs> I've Trust changed. me guys, people change. He's a good example of it. I've changed. <laughs> no. LA changed me. I messed up. <laughs> LA changed him. No, um, back in the day, he was very smiley. And no, I'm not. <laughs> no, he's not at all. Never smile, ever. I would just say you had a cooler haircut back then. Instead of no, now, what kidding. the fuck? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Wow. You did have a sick haircut though. I have the like same Like 14. Haircut. What? It's the same haircut. It's not the same haircut. the last haircut. 14 years. It's not the same haircut. Life. I remember that first haircut I saw on Sam. All right, Colby wore very casual clothing to high school. I wore school. the same thing every single day. You leveled up in fashion when you moved Thanks, up to LA. Man. Before then, it was just knee shorts and the same Blue Valley High School sweatshirt. Same hoodie, yeah, every it was like day. our high school hoodie I wore every single day. What Sorry. were you guys' first impressions when you guys saw each other? Like, did you guys know right away, like, I wanna be friends with him? Or were you like, eh, I don't know about this I guy. know, I literally, like, this is gonna sound crazy, but I saw him, like, you won an award for something, I remember. It's you got, like, hair. chosen for, like, an award, and, and it was it best hair? Yeah. See, yeah. <laughs> see what I mean, what the hell? <laughs> Oh, God. He had a great hair. A great hair. First impression. The first time I met Colby, he was... What was I doing? Oh, I don't know oh, if I can say this I was on doing. YouTube, but he was taking his band instrument and stroking it in this motion very quickly. And I just thought, wow, I want to be friends with that guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was the moment you knew. That was, that was the moment I knew that we would be oh lifelong God. friends. Yeah. Okay, so you guys have talked about this drum girl. Drum major girl? Drum major. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Does she know that you guys connected over her? Like, does I she think know so. this day? I think so. I think I, like, what's interesting is I hung out with her right before we moved out to LA. So it was like when we were 18, and this all happened when we were like 14, 15, and so I definitely told her before we like left. Oh, dude, I think she knew. Because well, I mean, we talked about her on social media. We're like, yes, the drum major band girl. And she's like, me? Like, I'm the That's only really one. What? Like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, She's she what knew. brought you guys together. <laughs> Definitely. She was, actually. Okay, so going off of that, what was, like, the origins of XPLR and your YouTube channel? Whoa. Throwing it back. Dude. Yeah, jeez, throw it back real quick. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they go hand in hand. The reason why we switched, we did our YouTube channel for, like, three years before anything really popped off. And that was, we were just doing challenges, stupid videos, great, whatever. We were having a good time, but we were basically just doing YouTube videos because we thought we needed to do YouTube videos. Uh, but then we were like, all right, what do we, what are we actually passionate about? And that was exploring abandoned places. That was the only real thing to do in Kansas. And so when we just broke into a bunch of abandoned places, we're like, all right, let's do it on YouTube. And thus, if that's like the one thing that we're passionate about, why not make that the whole brand? It's like You're exploring, right. going out, seeing the world and like, yeah, to, to add to that point is, yeah, it was more so just about like exploring just the world and like getting out of your comfort zone and stuff like that instead of just like abandon. But um, yeah, we took it, ran with it. You guys helped with the logos and all that stuff and we thought they were sick. So we were like, all right, this is our brand now. We're like, hey, Fanjoy, how can we make Explore a brand? Take out the vowels, let's just <laughs> use the good. consonants. We're good. All right, got it. That's all you gotta do. Was there ever a point that you guys wanted to quit? And if so, what made you guys push through? Whoa. I don't think so. I think we've always like really loved what we've we've done and um, it gets really stressful at times with the work. Yeah, I think um, though it depends on what you mean by quit. I yeah. think like not doing social media at all, no way. Like yeah. I, I think we've always been passionate about this and that's what we wanted to do. When it's ever gotten so stressful that we wanted to take a break, 
Yeah. Take definitely. a quit, like quit for like 24 hours yeah, and like, cry for a can second. Can we have a vacation for like a weekend? <laughs> uh. But I think that's good to have like balance and like have a break and everything. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Lots of crying, it helps. For sure. Um, okay, so what would you guys say are the pros and cons? of doing YouTube and social media and all of that? I mean, the best part is honestly, like I enjoy meeting people that watch the content mm -hmm. put out online, like online, like in person, seeing these people, it's like obviously 10 times, like way different than seeing like comments and stuff on social media, like seeing somebody in real life saying like how much, you know, like they're, they're your videos like meant to them and stuff. That, that's really special, I feel like. Definitely, yeah, creating the family. Cause like yeah. that alone, helps everything. It's like, allows us to do things like this. It allows us to connect with people. It allows us to meet really cool people or travel the world or everything. Yeah. It's like everything comes from that family. Definitely. I think cons recently have been just the amount of pressure we put on ourselves. So like we will like set a standard that we have to hit every single time. We have to keep raising that bar. And so we have just, I don't know. Over overwhelmed ourselves with the amount of work and like the amount of stuff that we need to do. And that's all planning as well. Like it's definitely our fault. So I'm sure in the future, like we can, you know, make sure that we're we can handle like our work next year. But like, yeah, it's been it's been very stressful like recently. Yeah, for sure. If YouTube didn't exist and like social media wasn't a job, what would be something that you guys would want to be doing or like your dream job outside of that? Whoa! See, this is a crazy question because I feel like. I didn't even know. We were oh, yeah. 15 by the time we were starting social media and stuff. And so my plan in my head was like, I'm going to go to KU and I'm going to like just do all the core classes and maybe do something in business. But I had no idea. Zero yeah. plan. I don't think I have any idea whatsoever. But nowadays, if like, let's say it was all taken away from me right now, I would actually go into like editing. I feel like we've been doing video editing for so long. I'm like, oh, dude, I love this. Like even creating for other people, I think it would be sick. What are your pet peeves about each other? Oh, oh God. Every single thing. Every, everything. <laughs> Just seeing me in the morning is the, the worst Because you guys part. spend a lot of time with each other, so. We do, but we've gotten so good at just like knowing how to not make each other mad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we've figured out like what our pet peeves are, I guess. I think I've um, spent more time with Colby than I have my own actual brother in my life. Yeah, honestly, like, probably. Yeah. Probably. Also, my mic might have just fallen off. Is that affecting anything? Uh, <laughs> shit. Pet peeves when his mic falls. So. Yeah, when my mic falls, god damn. Probably how hard he works, because then I just have to keep up. Damn. I'm just kidding. There's not, I don't know. I feel like I'd have to think about that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice of you guys. <laughs> so sweet. Okay, what's the scariest experience you guys have had while filming? Oh my gosh, probably uh, we went to a place called Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. Oh my god, uh, it was a mouthful. But should we tell them about I think the that, EVP? that video is coming out like here in a few days, probably. True, so, yeah. oh yeah, when people yeah, are watching plug it, this. Plug it. <laughs> without giving too much away, we basically heard what was like a disembodied voice basically right in front of us. Um, and when we went and checked back the recorder and stuff, it wasn't on there, but our cameras caught an actual voice saying like, the name of the person who was haunting the place, like right in front of us. Basically we heard the voice of another person in the same room, like two feet away from us, mm -hmm. in like our face. It was like the craziest sound we've ever heard in our life. And it was so human-like that it actually was like chilling. It made no sense. When you guys have these scary experiences, are there times when you guys get home or like that night you guys are still not over it and oh, you can't sleep yeah. and stuff? And just like that oh, experience yeah. and a couple other shooting like Hell Week, we were up like, all that night and then like the next couple days like talking about one of these experiences yeah no there's spots we'll go to that linger where you just kind of we our friends like call it like the paranormal hangover <laughs> um but it's like you kind of get you're surrounded by all this like negative energy and you hear throughout like the entire night of all the horrible things that happened at these specific places and it affects you it's like kind of go home like not you know, depressed or anything, but kind of like in a more solemn mood of like, oh man, that was that was a crazy spot. Very negative. It takes it yeah, out of you for sure. It does. It sucks. It, the it can be like stressful. I feel like it's like similar to watching like a scary movie where you're like, oh, but yes. yeah, it feel like a lot yeah, to deal with all like, the time. Oh god. In yeah. person, yeah. Well, how do you guys like cleanse that or like decompress from those? I well, we do all the editing ourselves as well, and so since most of our lives is scary content or making scary content, um, honestly, just 
you know, plugging away and watching like happier like YouTube videos <laughs> and stuff like that, or like listening to happy music in the morning and stuff. Just things that will be like more positive. I yeah. Feel like. You have to. You have to. Combat the negativity. All right, you guys moved to Vegas recently. What's the biggest difference between living in Vegas and LA? What would you say? Um, biggest difference is probably the people, I would say. Um, it's honestly right now, we, we've only been there for, well actually when people are watching this, we've probably been there for like two or three months. Um, but there's not a lot of people our age in Vegas. And so I feel like, yeah, biggest difference is probably like who we hang out with. And it's, it's a lot of the time it's been like us just, you know, figuring out how we can editing and all that. But. I was gonna say, we haven't really experienced that much of a difference. I'd say our lives in Vegas and LA have been very much the same since all it is is filming and editing, filming and then editing and then <laughs> editing and then filming more. So that's all of our life. When you guys aren't <laughs> editing, what are you guys doing for fun? Filming. <laughs> probably filming or like trying to, like I was saying, listen to those like positive. <laughs> Music course, videos it's and YouTube gonna be videos. Okay. Like, I'm gonna be okay. Don't go focus on the god thing. Yeah. Bad yeah. spirits. We'll go out like on the weekends. We can't lie. Like Friday, Saturday, we'll go to the bars and clubs out yeah. in Vegas and stuff. But that's about it. When you said the people are not your same age, are they younger or older? Older. Vegas oh, okay. has like a super old crowd where most of the bars we've been to, they're like, yeah, 40 plus. Really? <laughs> like, wow. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we're just looking in the wrong places. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, five years from now, where do you guys see yourselves or what are some goals you guys have in the next few years? I'd be 30. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. I wanna own a haunted house by 30. That's a, that would be yeah. sick. Wow, That's a really yeah. good one. Yeah, having our own sort of like, yeah, haunted house business franchise would be sick. Like oh. an experience that people can do. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. be a part of Universal Studios. And like, be sick. I like that. Yeah. Okay, favorite merch from this collection. So Ooh. I guess the Hell Week collection. Honestly, the purple. I think the purple. <laughs> to be quite honest, like the well, purple the, sick. The, this purple, like vintagey stuff. Like I think that's yeah. sick, but I think I like this design even better. For sure. Because it has that like washed out vibe to it, yeah, and it glows cool. in the dark. Yeah. yeah. That's sick. Or like with flash. Yeah. Reflective. Not, not yeah. Not in the dark, but it's reflective. Yeah. So when you take iPhone photos, it looks sick. You look cooler than all your friends. <laughs> How do you guys feel when you model the merch? How do we feel? Yeah, do you guys like doing it? Oh, that's a really good question. I feel like I, like it's so, like it's, it doesn't make sense to say because like our jobs are social media and like doing YouTube and stuff like that. But I feel like every single time I do a photo shoot, for some reason I need like 10 minutes to get in the zone. Like, I love how the photographer here will just be like, no, do this instead. Like, look this way, post this way. Because I, I feel like I get very awkward in front of camera, like, especially during photo shoots. And so, yeah, it's, it's fine, like, after, like, the first 10, 15 minutes, but. Yeah. Do you think filming is easier than doing photography then? Like I think photos? so, yeah. for me at least, okay. for me at least. More comfortable yeah. with it's it? It's less pressure because it's more about the full experience and not like someone just looking at one frame mm -hmm. of your life. Right, That's great. and just how to pose, you know? Yeah. Like you're not really thinking about posing while you're That's filming. That's true. So. Okay, people are really excited about the knit sweaters. Do you yeah. guys know when they're coming out? Oh my God, everyone's excited about this. You guys have been teasing them a little, so people are ready for them. People are. I think that's our final collection of the year. Yeah. So that'll be uh, during the holidays. November, right? November. Black Friday area. Fourth week. November 4th. All right. <laughs> Keep so, all that in. <laughs> one week after uh, Hell Week, I think. Did you not know that? Uh, no, we just need we just need to keep all that in there. We're just like <laughs> asking everybody. They're really excited for their collection. <laughs> we know um, everything know about the them. And everything. Okay, last question. So Halloween's coming up. What are your costumes that you guys have in mind? Ah, uh, that's literally the epitome of our existence. This is so stressful. We never have a single second to think. But you until can't Halloween. complain at all. Oh yeah, I have it easy. So mm -hmm. basically, my girlfriend just picks out all of my costumes because I just match her every year. So I'm chilling. He's always a pig. Every single year. <laughs> every like single a year. pig as in the animal? Yeah, <laughs> just a pig. No, he's just calling me a pig in general. <laughs> um, yeah, no, well what sucks about LA Halloween, well it's awesome, but bad at the same time is there's four usually Halloweens in a row, you know what I mean? You start on like a Thursday and ends on a Sunday night type thing. Uh, and so it's like four different costumes that you have to figure out. So like you're it's gonna be a hard. pig, 
and then I usually am like the, the koala onesie. Koala onesie, Dora the Explorer. <laughs> Dora, Dora, I've never been Dora. That's a good idea. Right. Well, I guess vampire. we'll find out what you guys end up being. But that's all the questions we got. So thank you guys. All right. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and let us know what you want to see next time on Fanjoy. Get the merch. Get the Hell Week merch because right it's only now. available during Hell Week. All right, so you got Do some it. limited time. Eh. Don't miss out. Link in the description. We'll see you next time. Subscribe. Adios. Like.